Hey everyone, Major Frenchie. Welcome to Major Frenchie's workshop. It's November, so we'll see how it looks at the end of November. Uh, today I want to focus on a solenoid. Uh, I've talked about solenoids in the past. I had a few videos and so on, but I want to uh, show a technique that uh, I thought was a little better in preparing this to install in your cab and making sure that your solenoid is actually safe to put so there's no wire exposed or anything like this. We have on the solenoid, in order to trigger this, you need to hit the uh, top pin, 12 volt positive, and the negative is actually triggered by the bottom connector. It's like a metal bracket. The idea is to use a female connector. You need a diode, so you're not seeing the diode. I'll, I'm going to show you in the video how I do it, but I basically just split the black wire a little bit, and I split the, the red a little bit. I applied a little bit of solder, and I actually connected the, the, the diode between the two, and then I shrink-wrapped it just to make sure that there's no wire exposed, because if you have exposed area of your diode, well, that's live. So if anything touches that, uh, you may create shorts in your cabin and you can set things on fire. Let's just go to the shop and I'm going to show you how uh, to do this. So we have a wire splicer and we have a crimper, we have a crimping tool. Uh, so we're use also using 16 gauge uh, 2.5 millimeter male female DC power socket jack. Um, so it's actually going to help you connect, quick connect your devices and uh, this is uh, totally fine for 12 volt uh, application. So also uh, we're going to just use a little bit of solder and let's just get started. We're going to use the wire splitter just to split the wire uh, I would say about three inches from the end so that this is where the diode is going to connect. So just like uh, remove a little bit of, sh of, of shield and uh, for both the plus and the minus. Uh, remove the cable shield. And then I'm, because the wire is a little smaller, I'm just going to fold the end in half and I'm going to insert it in the uh, ring connector terminal and I'm going to use the crimping tool and I'm going to crimp this wire and always at the end so pull a little bit on the wire just to make sure it does not come out same thing now for the ground the negative the black wire so we're going to fold it in half we're going to insert it and then we're going to use the crimping tool and we're going to crimp that wire. Same thing, uh, we're going to pull a little bit on the wire and making sure that it is crimped properly. We're going to remove the nut from the solenoid and uh, we're going to insert the uh, ring connector on the bolt and then we're going to put the nut back on and we're going to tighten that making sure it is nice and it's tug. And we're going to do the same thing for the uh, ground. The ground is on the bottom piece of metal that's attached to the solenoid. So uh, there are multiple ways you could do this. Uh, you could solder it if on it if you wish. But I'm going just to use a bolt and a nut. And I'm going to use the uh, ring terminal connector. And then I'm going to insert it exactly like the, uh, the one we did for the uh, positive. And now we're going to add some solder uh, where we split the uh, wire. And then we're going to be able to connect our, our diode to it. And then to prevent the, uh, the live exposed area, we're going to uh, add some tubing, some shrink tube. Uh, there we go. That's the shrink tube that's going to slide over the diode. The diodes are 4004. Uh, people also use the 4007. So we're going to just solder that part uh, onto the, uh, the negative. And 
And uh, you can see I actually pushed my tubing on top of the two wires. So now I'll be ready just to uh, use heat to shrink wrap. This is my little handy blowtorch. I love that thing. Eh? It was cheap. I got it on special like for five bucks. And I can refill it. It's great. Uh, very nice to use. By the way, if you're, um, if you're looking for parts and whatnot, in the article I will have uh, on the website, majorfrenchy.ca, uh, I will have all the parts that I've used for this so you can uh, actually uh, purchase them. All right, so we got both sides here done. Uh, just testing always the solder, just to make sure it's, it's soldered properly. And I'm going to push that in and be able to slide the uh, tubing uh, over the two. It's better if you have your uh, tubing already on the wire before you connect it. Uh, in this case, I just I, I didn't uh, because I use, I spliced the wire, right? So I couldn't really put it on top. But as long as there's no wire exposed, uh, you are set. All right, I'm gonna do the uh, other side. Got some yellow sh shrink tubing for this one. It's a little wider, so we're done. All right, we're going to use the 12-volt uh, power to power this. And uh, this is like the end result. So look at that. The connections are really well made. Uh, there's no wire exposed. We have a, a quick female connector that's actually going to make things a lot easier. We're going to plug in. This is the male portion. So here we go, guys. Uh, I just hope you found this a little bit handy. Uh, I like it. I've done different ways uh, over the years when you're doing stuff. You always learn, right? Oh, well, next time I'm not going to do this or I'm not going to do that. I like it because it's a quick connector. So you can actually quickly just connect this to your cab and, and then you're, you're set. Now, let's just say this dies uh, because it happens, right? Solenoids, I mean, technically solenoids. Uh, they're not designed to go on and off like a very rapidly, so eventually it, it is possible that this will burn. But guess what? With this type of setup, you can just remove the nut here, and then you can remove the nut at the bottom, and you can actually install that onto the new solenoid that you're going to purchase. They're cheap. They're about $15. So have a few spare, right? Especially if you do a cab, you know stuff is going to go wrong. Uh, purchase a little extra because that will prevent you from waiting for the delivery and the shipping once, uh, once you need it. So, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to talk to me, I'm on the uh, Discord. Uh, we're actually uh, a big community, and we're chatting about the hardware, software, tables, and so on. Uh, come and visit us. If you look in the description of the video, I'll have a link to the article with some pictures and some extra details. So I know sometimes people like to see videos how it's done. Some people just like to look at an article and see how everything is working. So I got both. Thanks for watching, folks, and we will catch you in the next video.